Hey guys, it's Jerry. Uh, welcome to another Zomo Lomo video. I got a request uh, from someone in uh, my channel to do Komodo. The, uh, this is the newest Komodo uh, internet security. It's the beta version that uh, recently came out. Um, so I figured I'd give it a try. I was reading some uh, reviews on it and it's supposed to be, uh, the beta is supposed to be very uh, stable and work at least as good as the old 4.1 version, if not better. So we'll check it out. Um, as you can see from the installer, it's 47 and a half megs. Not too bad. So uh, I'll go ahead and install it. And uh, if I run across any issues or anything out of the ordinary, I'll come back. Otherwise, I'll pause it and after it installs, I'll come back. Be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I downloaded and installed Komodo. This is the beta. Uh, it's, I guess it's going to be known as version 5 from what I understand. And uh, as, as with any other um, security program, when you first install it, it needs to be updated. So um, it's, it's, go, it's updating, as you can see now, it's about halfway there. So I'll wait for this to finish updating, and then we'll uh, take a look at the um, the interface itself and the uh, the, the setup. So uh, I'm going to pause it, be back when this is done, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, real quick, <clears throat> I wanted to show you the uh, processes running for Komodo. As it's doing its update, right now it's using about uh, 70 megs and uh, using a good part of uh, about 75% of the CPU at this point. Um, it is a little heavy. Uh, it's not over the top or worse than other internet, internet suites that I've seen. Um, not too, too bad. Uh, so I just wanted to come back and show you what the, um, what the processes look like. Now, I've seen newer... <clears throat> internet security suites that have six, seven, eight processes. Uh, Komodo uses two at this point, so that's not too bad at all. Uh, again, memory's a little high, but uh, that's uh, you know, hopefully something that they'll work on before they release the uh, final version. <clears throat> uh, so we just sparked up another process see here. Process, uh, let's see three processes. It's, it's gone down. Uh, CPU hasn't gone down, but the memory usage has gone down significantly. Uh, so, <clears throat> it's finalizing its update. It's been stuck at 90% for a little bit, maybe a couple of minutes. So I'll wait for this to finish, come back, and we'll take it from there. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, as you can see, the virus database has been updated. So that's good. We'll go ahead and close that out. Um, now it's giving me another message that uh, I haven't performed a full scan yet, but we're not going to do that at this point. Um, so the, ver the first thing that stands out to me uh, about this new beta version is, is the, the colors and the interface. Uh, much cleaner. Um, I like the colors that uh, they have now much better than the uh, version 4 where they had that like pinkish reddish color that I um, wasn't really too fond of and they also did a good job in cleaning up the interface it doesn't look as messy uh, it's a little bit easier to read uh, under the summary tab so just like the old version you have your antivirus the uh, status which is stateful uh, again a default setting then you have your defense plus which is in safe mode uh, doesn't give too many pop-ups, and uh, again, it's uh, uh, it, it's factory setting, and then your firewall is on safe mode, uh, and uh, that also is the recommended setting. Um, so, again, pretty straightforward. It gives you traffic. What's basically um, what's sharing information in the background, but right, right now service host and uTorrent is uh, is connecting to the internet and sharing information. 
Uh, you have the antivirus tab, which is very similar to uh, the last version. You can run scan. You can update the virus database. You can look at your quarantined items, which at this point there are none. Uh, you can view antivirus events, so anything that was blocked, uh, put in the sandbox, uh, anything at all that it, uh, any events, I should say, that they, it finds, it will uh, keep a log here under the antivirus events. Uh, you can submit files to Komodo. You can schedule your scans. Right now, there's a weekly virus scanning set up. You can add it, you can edit it, you can remove it. Um, so pretty straightforward there. Scan profiles. Uh, you can scan your computer, your critical areas. Uh, you can do a spyware scan. Uh, so you have typical different uh, options as far as what you want to scan. And then your scanner settings. Now, again, this is all uh, pre-configured, uh, out of the box, haven't really changed anything. Um, your real-time scanning is set to stateful. Um, you can scan memory on start. You can automatically quarantine threats found during scanning. Um, your heuristics level, I'll change that to medium. Uh, then you can you can not scan files that were larger than a certain amount. In this case, it's a set, set uh, at 20 megs. And keep an alert the keep an alert on the screen for um, well, it's kind of long, 120 seconds. So we'll just change that to uh, I don't know, 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, then you have your manual scanning. You can scan memory on start. You can scan archive files, automatically update the virus database before scanning. Uh, definitely enable cloud scanning. Uh, the heuristics, set it to medium. Uh, schedule scanning. Again, we'll enable cloud scanning. We'll change the heuristics to medium. And any exclusions that you want to um, add to here, you can go ahead and do that. So uh, these are all basically your um, scanner settings. Okay, and you have your firewall. We're not going to really mess with anything here. Uh, but if you want to tweak anything that has to do with the firewall, this is where you would do that. Your Defense Plus, which to me is kind of like the meat and potatoes of Komodo. This is where all the magic happens, so to speak. Um, you have your Defense Plus events. Um, so whatever it, uh, it does in the background, it'll give you a log similar to the antivirus. Your trusted files. Okay, anything that you want to trust and not scam by Komodo, you can add here. Your unrecognized files, uh, which is similar to trusted files. Computer security policy. Uh, this is huge, your active process list. Uh, this is a good way to come in here and see if there's anything that's uh, not recognized or anything out of the ordinary. Uh, gives you the company. It, it tells you if it's sandboxed or not. Uh, it tells you if it's uh, trusted or not. Um, so it's a really good tool to use if you want to take a look at what's going on on your system at any given time. Uh, you can run a program in the sandbox. And uh, very similar to last, last year's version, uh, you can select something to run in the, the sandbox. So let's say I wanted to run, uh, I don't know, Internet Explorer or some file. Uh, you can do that. Uh, okay, it's pretty, like I said, pretty straightforward. And uh, your Defense Plus settings. Okay, you have your general settings. It's right now on safe mode. And again, this is the default setting. Uh, keep an alert on the screen for 
I'm going to change that to 30 seconds. Trust the application digitally signed. Block all unknown re requests if the application is closed. Deactivate no create rules. All right, so that's pretty pretty good. Uh, your execution control settings are enabled. Everything is pretty much configured there. Your sandbox settings is, looks like it's enabled. Um, we enable the system virtualization, red stream virtualization. So everything's pretty much pre-configured there along with your monitor settings. Okay. Uh, then you have, uh, again, similar to last year's version, you have your preferences. You can show balloon messages. You can uh, automatically detect new private networks. You can up, you can change your language. Your parental control, if you want to add that. Uh, you can change your theme. I'm assuming you could download it from the forums. Different themes. Um, your connection, if you want to use a uh, proxy, and then your updates. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, now, diagnostics is good because if you have an issue with the installation of Komodo, or if Komodo is not working correctly, you can come here, click on diagnostics, and it'll check to see if there's any issues with the installation of your um, Komodo internet security. So that's great. You can check for updates from here. You can browse forums, and then you have your help and you're about. So again, you know, pretty uh, similar to, to last year's uh, version. Uh, again, I like this much better as far as the colors and the setup. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay, so we have it all updated here. We've uh, installed it and we've just, we've taken a quick look at all the different settings and components of Komodo. Uh, I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to I'm going to make a second video and dedicate the second video to do a prevention test. So um, stand by. I will get set up, come back, and we'll do a prevention test. So we'll be uh, back in a minute.